This is task 2D where you're asked to create some validation rules. The first one that you're asked to create is that the number of accidents in the last three years must be a maximum of three. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up some data validation on here and you'll notice that we, uh, we can't do that at the moment um, because we're protected. So we'll unprotect our sheet from before and we can go to data validation. Now, we're told that it needs to be uh, between 0 and 3, so we need a whole number between 0 and 3. Now in terms of the evidence, this is what you need to show. You need to show how you set it up and the fact that you've set up the rule for between 0 and 3. Now the question doesn't ask for a customised error message, but as it's so simple, there's no harm uh, in doing that. So let's, let's just put something in here. And I'll put something like out of range and an error message of maximum three accidents in last three years. Okay, and I might as well show a screenshot of that as well and explain what I've done as part of my annotation. Let's test it works. I can put in three. Can I put in four? No, it comes at the error message. And again, it's worth showing a screenshot of that error message appearing. So the next validation rule is to make sure that the youngest driver age is no higher than the minimum driver age of the vehicle selected. So here's a minimum driver age of the vehicle. Now notice name named this cell min age so I can make reference to it in the validation rule. So our youngest driver age, this is what we're going to validate. So let's have a look, we'll go to our data validation. And again, it will be a whole number, but this time it's going to be greater than or equal to that minimum age. Uh, I need to put an equal sign in front, I think. And that should do it for us. Now let's check and see what happens. So if I put in 25, we're okay. If I put in 20, ah, it doesn't match. That's great. So. I haven't put a customized error message in, so you can do that. Just go back to data validation, put in an error alert, put in something sensible that's positive to the user. And again, show those same screenshots of setting up the um, validation, setting up the error message, and the error message actually working, uh, showing the data that it's making reference to.